All right. Uh, so just like I said, um, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna try at this uh, whole guild war and see how we're doing. So someone already took these guys down, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> they were like a, a a small breath away from being knocked over. Uh, anyway, someone's attacking here. Let's see how they do. <laughs> I might just bring like. I don't know would be good to, what would be good to bring in here I mean for one probably just uh, Jeep herg hmm they don't have a lot of debuffs so maybe like Jeep herg <laughs> I'm thinking here actually we'll come back to that in a little bit when that person's not attacking no, let's come in here Okay, so this one looks like a job for, let's do, oh, down here looks kind of annoying. Um, so down here looks like, let's go with, uh, let's go with you. Um, I'm putting Lilibet down here. So Lilibet's gonna cleanse these two. She's gonna, then she's gonna go too. Uh, what to put up here? Maybe we can. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try. Uh, I don't think my carrot's ready yet, but I might throw her in there anyway. What if we throw Ravi in here? Because uh, she and her can both focus her and kill her, and she'll do whatever she wants to do. I'm not sure. You know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Up here, we're going with you. Stop doing that. I know it's annoying. Um, I need like someone with the uh, Aureus or something. Mm. What about you? Yeah, it looks like fun. Um, I don't know if we'll win this. Uh, I have a feeling we won't. Um, but I, I think it looks fun nonetheless. Uh, down here, we'll go with this and see how that goes. Uh, problematically, designing a little bit, uh, S3 will do nothing against Ravi, so that's kind of a problem, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I have no intention of losing. I said we wanted to bring an Aureus, but actually we just brought uh, an Adamant, uh, because that's what my Lilius is on. <laughs> Um, so let's, I want to push them back. Theoretically, I should have brought a healer, but, um, it, it is what it is. We'll see how this goes. I think one of the problems we're going to run into is we don't have enough damage. Um, but we'll see. And she's dead. Cool. So that's... <laughs> That's not exactly what I, uh, the reason I, I put those two together, but, uh, you know, serendipity is always a good thing anyway. Uh, let's, right now we need to focus on, um, we need to focus on Ruel. Uh, all our damage needs to go into her because, um, as you can see, these other two are just going to take damage from everyone else, like, really easily. Um... And she's gonna be healing them, so she, you know, you know, we have enough AOE that like we're just gonna hit everyone else really hard, and it's not gonna be that big a deal. Here I go. And okay, we didn't get the. She never, she never. Um, actually, I probably should have hit what's her name there actually. So she's gonna heal herself this time, you know. 
So he resisted. I want you to keep track of how many times he resists uh, this guild war because it's ridiculous. Uh, no one resists as much as a zero effect resistance as a Rado. It's so annoying. And we didn't get the strip there. Uh, so she might get the chance to revive someone, but we'll see, depending on how much uh, damage we can do before that. Okay, I think maybe we have... no, well, let's try this, actually. I really don't want her to revive anyone because it'll be, like, annoying. Okay, so she resisted that. That's fine. Uh, we, so we can actually just kill her now with um, <laughs> F my as S3, so that's cool. No matter, it doesn't matter who she brings back at this point. Uh, we still won. Um, well, here's a here's a tip for all of you guys, actually. Well, let's see if we just kill her with this. Yeah, we might actually just kill her with this. Let's see. I was gonna say something to teach you guys a, a clever technique, but <laughs> yeah. Um, if you're ever curious, like if you look at a health bar and you're not sure if it's thirty percent or not, so that you can get the execute on um, F Maya's S three. Um, just press auto battle because she'll always S2 or S1 normally, but she'll only S3 when the computer calculates and looks at it for sure that it is below 30%, right? Um, so whenever it's her turn and you're, you're like, okay, do I want to S3 or not? Is it time yet? Um, just S3 with her, just, uh, press auto battle for that one instance and then let her do her thing. And then, you know, you know, go from there. Okay. So that's good. That's a good start. Okay. Strangely enough, yeah, it's just kind of strange that she gives her. Let's oh, okay. Well, let's just hit everybody with this. It's interesting that that. Um, oh, I, oh, I guess it's supposed to be for later. That's kind of weird. I wonder why. Uh, there's nothing to cleanse really, but I'm just gonna do this anyway. Uh, the the, the point I wanted to make was that. Um, it's interesting that the idols cheer is there because it, it boosts up right now. At least right now, it boosts up the F the fairy tale tenebria, which I'm not sure what that's about. Let's see if we can just kill her. Come on, crit. Nope, I didn't crit. Um, yeah. Anyway, that, that, the point was, it's odd that it boosts fairy tale tenebria because um, she doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage. So I'm not sure what the benefit of that would be. And I get free counters. Ooh, I actually, I, I've crit on counters, but not on just actually hitting her, which is kind of weird. And she's dead. So <laughs> that goes T Siren. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to go for us. Yeah, 42. Wow, she's not dead. I can't believe that. Come on, counter. No. Oh, this is this is not going very well, is it? Let's just kill him, please. Die. Okay, so we're probably going to get uh, stunned here. Okay, so only... Wow, the person with... Well, neither of them have effect resistance. <laughs> That's still funny, though. It's at you. So she's going to boost up the... Um, the Ravi, and she got the stun. So this is going about as poorly as it could have gone, and this team is probably not what I should have brought into this. Um... Do I want to quit here? I'll quit if I lose Ravi. Um, let's see how many stuns their Ravi gets on my Ravi. It basically just comes down to that. Like, how many stuns will are we going to see here? And I really should have S1 there uh, because I need the healing right now more than I need that S3. Um, come on, counter. Hit you with this. All right, let's get the S1 here. I got the counter, and I didn't get. We have to have our, our trigger finger ready on this. Uh, on the uh, on the pause button, so we can leave because Ravi's actually pretty important, and we don't want to lose her. Cause this is going actually pretty well so far. Come on, counter, counter, please kill her, just die. And she's dead. Cool. And I think we can just S Soulburn S1 this, right? Let's try. Come on, die. Don't miss the crit. Thank you. 
and she's dead. Okay, so there you go. Solo Ravi pulled it out uh, as usual. <laughs> that's kind of what, for those of you who actually do use Ravi a lot. That's kind of one of the interesting things about her is that like it's hard to bring a team along with her because she's constantly just like like they'll just die around her and then she'll be the only one left. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, so let's 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 see what we can do in here. Um, so this bottom team looks like the kind of thing I would just what if we went with you yeah okay I think that that's good so I'm gonna go with him him and Lilius that seems kind of dumb to me but um I'm gonna go with this never nonetheless right because one of the things with uh with her is that her alone isn't too big a deal because she just like um like if she's debuffing all she does is strip and then put two debuffs on but you could just like cleanse them easily and then put um or you could just put like put immunity up over them and then basically you're 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 solid from there but yeah so we're gonna go with that down there up here i'm gonna go with uh we're gonna go with you well let's no actually yeah let's let's do that um i just realized i don't really have a lot of healers that are very useful for this because what i want to do is that that and then someone down here would be good i'm not really sure who to go for uh because like my healers are are dj basar <laughs> Uh, made Chloe and Ruel, right? And all of them are gonna get are gonna take aggro from from these two up here. Um, I mean, I've got like, who do I have here? I have well, actually, yeah, that that seems kind of interesting. Um, I might just go with. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, I might just go with like um, SSB, right? Maybe SSB into this. Yeah, this looks pretty interesting. Let's go with SSB. Uh, what's her name? Uh, you. And we're going to go with... Uh, where is she? Maid, and we're going to go with Maid Chloe. So, I, funnily enough, I was actually using Maid Chloe a little bit like before this. Um... She's probably gonna she's probably gonna die, but um, we'll kind of see what we can get out of her. But regardless, the point was um, before she got these buffs, I actually started using May Chloe uh, just because the like what I mentioned with the um, with the ML with the ML crowd and in, in the in the May and the LQC showcase or whatever, um, well, not showcase summoning video. Uh, what I mentioned there was like you can you know she has attack buff and and revive, so that's just been very useful to me. Uh, which is why I've been using her a lot. Uh, let's just hit you. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of interesting. So let's put this up. Let's hit you with this. Okay. So right now, Maid Chloe is giving everyone on my team uh, 47 effect resistance, and still SSB could not survive that. Uh, I think he's on counter because he's so slow. Wow, I actually got the counter. So there goes Maid Chloe, uh, unfortunately. Let's try this. Uh, so RB's going to counter again, theoretically. Okay, so he didn't, funnily enough. I swear, guys, this usually works. <laughs> um, so she's going to kill him, but that's fine, because then I'll just be able to... Oh, actually, she, he didn't die. Okay, so now we're both going to die. 
which we still have revival, but it's not gonna save us the second time through. Yeah, so she's dead. Let's uh, let's just give that one up there. Um, probably just should have gone like full tank and something else. I don't know. Um, I mean, if I had like if if I wasn't using ML Crow down here, I probably would have taken ML Crow up there and then like a healer and then something else. Um. But yeah, so let's do, let's get rid of this. Okay, so we kind of want Charles to kill Arby here. So Arby just gets two back-to-back -back S3s. And okay, so he should be dead now. And he's not dead, funnily enough. Uh, okay, so now he gets his other S3, and we get Gab, so that's good. Um, okay, so we get this. And they're both dead. So that was basically the plan. The Gab wasn't so big a deal, because um, obviously, as you can see, um, ML Crow was right up after him, so the point was that he would... Hit twice, gab or not, gab or no gab, and then uh, ML Crow is going to clean up afterwards, um, which is actually which is a pretty good combination, I think. Um, if you're looking for a really highly aggressive comp, something like that would be pretty good for guild defense because it's a lot of damage for people to deal with. It's the reason why uh, RB and um, Riolu were so good. It's just that there's like too much damage being poured into like one person, um, especially team wide, thanks to ML Crow and the fact that you know. But did I lose? I lost that first one and I still won, right? No, that's pretty... No, right? See... No, no, that's... That's not the one I just attacked. That one's old. Um, which one? Okay, oh, so I still took it down even though I lost that first one. So, <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> um, okay, so that's down, that's down. Uh, attacking the fortress is kind of worthless, so let's look at... See if we can just knock over a tower real quick. Uh, I gotta... You know how it is. You gotta recoup on that uh, on the those lost galaxies after uh, a summon session. Um, let's see. Let's bring you. Um, let's bring. Oh, I have an idea. There's no um, immunity on this. There's no immunity on this team, so I'm just gonna bring you and you, and some someone else, I guess, someone fun. Uh, so this is our last match. So these people can die, and it's not that big a deal. So let's bring someone fun. Um, yeah, we'll bring. We'll take this into this. This will be hilarious. Uh, down here, I actually need Ravi for this. This is what I bring. I bring Ravi into these. Oh, so I gotta, I gotta figure someone else to bring up, up there. Um, yeah, sorry, Ravi, you're coming down here. I mean, I guess that that's not too bad either. But let's bring you instead. Uh, that looks kind of dumb, but we're going to go with that. I don't think this is going to go very well because, well, the thing is, it's like the crit resistance. The, the reason I'm bringing it kind of like this is because none of these people care about crit resistance. And she's going to stun everyone except for maybe her. She's going to debuff everyone except for, again, maybe her. And he's just going to be like s 3 and then keeping immunity up, hopefully, on us. Um, but let's find someone down here. Where, who am I looking for? I'm looking for you. Okay, so this is for those of you. This is the team I bring into uh, these these comps, and you'll see why. So, well, I guess I can explain a little bit. Basically, she is going to hit her. She or she's going to hit him because dark into light. Uh, she is going to AOE, but when she S ones, she's only going to hit him because she won't hit fires, right? And because these two are dumping damage into him, he should be lower on the HP. So she's going to go into him as well uh, after she S threes, which is going to hit everyone, right? So it's basically the plan with this is just kind of sit here uh, and let the sort of, you know, elemental chart take over and, and have G-Perg win us the game, essentially. 
Jeeper combined with his CR push and the attack buff are just, you know, too good. Okay, so let's get this. It doesn't matter if uh, she gets her buffs up because theoretically we're just gonna um, stun everyone to death anyway. Funny enough, I probably should. Wow, you have Ravi the. Uh, Okay, as I was saying, main point is that um, some of these buffs aren't really that important considering they're going to be stunned, right? They're going to be stunned a lot and um, and they're going to get burned. And we're not critting, so it doesn't matter whether they have the crit resistance or not. Um, I'm going to hit you just because I can right now. Of course, I got the wrong one. Why don't you surrender? Huh. Uh, so we're just gonna kill Ravi because, again, she, you know, as 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 we all know, as we should know by now, anyway, uh, Ravi has the potential to solo, so let's not uh, play with that. Funnily enough, she's received every debuff we've thrown at her, <laughs> but except the stun, which is kind of annoying that that, that that's happening that way. Let's do this. So that worked. That was pretty cool. Come on, bring, bring her. Yes, there we go. Uh, the reason we want that is so that she gets this. So every time uh, she, every time her S1 triggers the S2, or every time you hit someone who, who's burned like that, the S2 does that, and then the S2 gives you 25% CR boost. So now she's like faster than she is. Uh, I'll show off my MLR, and I'm actually kind of proud of it, but uh, it could be better. I just need better gear. But this is, she, she's, she's got the idea that I'm, I'm, I'm I want. Funnily enough, she's actually about to die. <laughs> I'm not sure where that came from. I guess it's from the the splashback that um, that what's her name does, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, so what do we do here? Uh, I don't want to S three. Do I want to S two her? I'm gonna do this, okay? So basically, she's gonna S3 here. And because she has a shield on, uh, she took less damage than G Perg. So now G Perg, I mean, it's just a sliver, but G Perg uh, has more damage on him. Uh, so basically, yeah, so. Basically, uh, with that little bit of shield, uh, we basically guarantee that uh, G Perg is the only one who's going to get attacked from now on, so that's good. Now that she's uh, S3'd, we can S3 in turn. And you can kind of do this with, like, I mean, as long as you have Lilius, the, the thing is, the, th the problem is that, like, this comp is very dangerous because, for one, They've got so much AoE on their side and not enough like CC that um, Ravi gets hit a lot and then she gets boosted forward and it also means that her S3 is just ready to go constantly. Um, the other thing is uh, not only are she, is she getting hit a lot and getting boosted and although you know G Perg as well, but she's also being brought along with dual attacks. Well, I mean theoretically, right? She's being brought along for dual attacks with. Um, Lilius, which gives her more um, more fighting spirit, as always, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, see, <laughs> Jeep perk tends to come a lot, uh, just because it's not the one you want. So we're gonna get S three here, but it should be fine because we have two fires and uh, Jeep perk is tanky as heck. Uh, theoretically, if you want to run this team, um, like I said, you can run this in various in a lot of variations. And actually, that did a lot of damage because uh, she actually got the crit on um, Lilius on um, Ravi there. Um, we can run this same team, but like, you know, replace G Perg with maybe a, um, let's get rid of you. Replace G Perg with a, uh, a healer with, what's it called? Um, you know what it is, the, uh, and it's actually not normal. Like, G Perg is never really that low. Um, 
but you know he, he it, it's a 50 50 sometimes you know he takes a lot of damage and he gets kind of low and sometimes he doesn't uh but you could replace g perg with any uh mage with um idols cheer uh any like good decent mage with idols cheer like a good example would have been something like nobody runs her on it but uh if you wanted to like well yeah yeah or actually yeah a good replacement is probably like made chloe but that's even harder to get than g perg so not, not exactly but the point is that someone with like you know someone with the uh idols cheer is good but the reason g perg is so good is because not only does it boost just her it also boosts uh lilius which is awesome because then lilius gets to do lilius things uh but on top of that uh, Li uh he also has attack buff so that's why i kind of mentioned made chloe uh so you get not only do you get a cleanse uh you get some er which is decent but not that important uh, because again, they're all just going to funnel into Maid Chloe anyway. Um, but you get the attack buff, which is the most important part, because it makes uh, Ravi just hit a lot harder. Um, but yeah, so that's this Guild War. Uh, hopefully, we've got some new units. I wanted to showcase. Um, I guess I'll, I'll show off some of the units that I had and, and why they succeeded or didn't succeed. Um, I wanted to show off research, my researcher carrot, but she's not she's not uh, presentable yet. Uh, this is my uh, Ravi. I'm testing her out right now. So this is what she looks like. Um, her health stat is kind of low and it really bothers me that it is that low, which I can fix um, fairly easily by just replacing the ring. Because if you see here, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a waste of time. Um, this is a defense ring, but I, I like having defense on her uh, because in... Um, in RTA, defense is very important because um, it it scales better into more frenzy. So the frenzy will reduce her HP, but not her defense. Um, so that's kind of the idea with that, right? Um, so as you can see, I took a lot of the the arena gear and then just kind of uh, re-rolled it with some of those substat changers. Uh, that needs to like as you can see here, like some of the stuff is a suboptimal, right? Like I could, if I were to replace this flat health with like a percentage health, it'd be way better. But I don't have that, so. Um, so there's a few imp improvements I can do here and there, but like the the, the main thing uh, I wanted to point out was uh, this boot here. I'm experimenting with a slower, more heavy damage dealing uh, Ravi because um, I have another boot. It's counter set here. That's actually speed. This one. So as you can see here, she gets a little tankier. She gets a lot more speed. Uh, you know, some, so the, the the crit chance, crit damage, whatever. Who cares? Um, but she loses out on quite a bit of attack. So just an experiment just to see. I, I really think this boots might, uh, I might go back to the speed boots, but I, I kind of like how hard she hits now. But, you know, like I said, it, 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 it's, it's kind of, you know, 50-50. They're both kind of, she basically, it's like the damage she does versus the speed she can get, it's kind of like a trade-off. Like if you have to sit there and really think about it and really play and play and play and there's not a noticeable difference, then maybe there's not, it's not that big a deal. Uh, but if like you put on the, the damage boots and suddenly it's like, oh man, yeah, she's doing so much damage that like it outweighs the speed and it'd be more guaranteed. Uh, so you can see here, this is my uh, researcher carrot, uh, attack percentage, attack percentage, and uh, speed. Now, as you can see here, my attack is kind of low considering for those of you who watch Zodi, uh, he has like a 5k attack <laughs> um, researcher carrot with better survivability stats than I do, mind you. Um... But yeah, this, this is why I say it's like I I wasn't really too comfortable showing her off yet because she's not really that good. I mean, I got a lot of crit damage, a bunch of random stats she doesn't need, so that's kind of that. Um, who else did I use today? I guess Crow. I, I mean, no one cares about Crow anymore. I mean, Crow, you just build him with speed, speed, health, and like effect resistance is basically all it is with Crow. Um, apparently, zodi has got a like, twenty eight hundred health, twenty eight thousand health Crow. Um, she's nothing special. She's just kind of mildly faster than most people, and she's got 77 effectiveness. So, like whatever. Um, uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, who was who was important to this? So I wanted to show off my uh, Aramintha for one. Uh, for those who wanted to see Fighter Maya, there's Fighter Maya. For no speed whatsoever. Finally, it took me forever. For some reason, it took me forever to get gear on her. Um. That did not have speed whatsoever. <laughs> uh, there's some pretty good pieces, as you can see here. Not like the only reason these are 90 is because you get a lot of um, like this refinement gear or this uh, 
farming stuff, and I don't really run anybody with health key with health sets or or defense sets or attack sets. So I just kind of stock up on that stuff, and it just sits around. Um, as you can see, her crit damage is kind of low. You kind of want it a little higher, but I like where her defense is at. So uh, it is what it is. So I, I did this crit chance. Her crit chance is also kind of low because I wasn't running a crit set on her. Um, but I like where it's at now. So you know, it took me a while to get that. Uh, for anyone who wants to see my crow. I don't run Crow on Adamant or Aureus because I end up running him a lot of the times with other um, with other tanks. So I'll run him with like a CC or I'll run him with like um, uh, what's his name? Uh, regular. I run him with Water Crow, right? And they have enough damage mitigation; it's not that big a deal. Now him with Water Crow is pretty good because you get the Aureus damage mitigation, and then you get the Adamant damage mitigation, um, and you know you become infinitely tankier. But I think. Uh, Increasing his damage a little bit with this is a lot better. So you get like a 15% dam a 16% damage increase and then you get a 20% hit chance uh, Which is not necessarily bad, but it's it's whatever uh, you might be asking if, if I don't really care about the hit chance And this is probably better on someone else. Why run it on him period? Uh, over like something like portrait and the reason I like this over portrait is because this is a flat 16% portrait is 20 so the question is do you want to sacrifice 4% damage increase for it being active all the time because the thing with portrait is it only works when they're over 50 percent hp um and with symbol of unity it works all of the time so i'll never have to worry about like losing damage um on the top end or the bottom end you know so that's kind of what i why i like this one it's just i prefer the overall damage rather than like a four percent spike when they're over a 50 hp is, is my um uh, it's my reasoning there uh, like I said, this is probably I'm probably gonna have to put this on someone else whenever I get them if I need them. Like if I get like top model Lilica, she's really gonna need this because you know I can't have her just like missing on a uh, arbiter. It's not, it's not good, man. Um, my Tempest Seren, uh, 32. A little. So a lot of people have her at like 35, and then they have her at like 20 or 280 crit damage. Uh, I actually just like because I could probably regear her and then go down to 280 and then 35, uh, 35,000 attack. Um, but I actually value the crit damage more because this has health scaling. So the damage dealt increases proportional to the amount of caster's health lost, and so does this one. Um, so I, I prefer to get more damage, to multiply my damage multipliers by the crit damage. So just more damage, right, is, is the bottom line. Uh, as you can see here, she has RNL. That's just because I don't have another uh, Alexis basket, but I might just stick with her on RNL. Because uh, spamming out more S3s is better then getting because so if she so let's say she has one s3 and then she s3s and she has greater attack buff on turn one um she's gonna heal up whether she has greater attack buff or not right no matter what that s3 is gonna heal her to full uh and we're all we're gonna do is get a little more damage so we have a 40 percent chance of getting 75 percent attack increase for more damage or a lower chance to double our damage which you know i kind of like this one a little bit better just because like if this one gets me to my because sometimes like you'll have rnl proc and it'll get you like she's gonna die because she s1s and it's not enough healing uh, but then you get the rnl the rnl proc and then she gets an s3 in and then she heals back to full and there you go right so that's kind of my reasoning with that uh and then lastly we have our um silver blade aramintha here uh who's just the best so uh we, we've got 203 speed uh, i can get her with a refine here i can get her to um 205 speed and then, you know, obviously this neck sucks. Uh, this ring sucks. Uh, everything else is all right. This this kind of sucks too. I mean, it's got, you know, it's got it's got good speed, but like everything else is kind of, yeah. Uh, if this was effectiveness, that'd be way better because I'd have like 125, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, theoretically you're supposed to have her like 200 something, right? But I like her on counter set. It's, it's really good. And so these two, I need to replace these two for more health uh, and defensive stats and effectiveness, uh, as you can see, and more speed, obviously. Um, and you know, whatever. But yeah, so that, that was, that was one I wanted to show off with her. Uh, my designer Lilibet, I, I recently finished building her. So we've got, uh, near 160 speed, 95. So she's got 95 crit chance, but if I gave her the imprint, she would have a hundred percent, which uh, I kind of want to, but that 4% HP to two other units is actually pretty good. I usually use her in comps that could use that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, 2100 defense, counter set, uh, decently fast. Warhorn gives her more turns, but I think 
Uh, I could probably give her another artifact. I just, I've been testing her out on that just because she doesn't really have any artifact to me that's like definitive. That's like, oh, this is the artifact for her. Because a lot of them are like, you know, like take, take, um, Hellcutter, for example. This gives her attack and crit chance, but she's already hitting her crit chance cap and attack doesn't scale very well on her anyway. Uh, she doesn't need effect resistance. She doesn't need this cleanse thing. She doesn't need damage reduction because she's got a bunch of defense anyway. Um, just, I mean, I guess this burn could be interesting, but she doesn't have a high attack stat, so her burns are gonna do worthless, are gonna be worthless. This is kind of, uh, you know, don't need crit chance. Uh, this is kind of interesting, gives her more effectiveness with a stun, especially because, um, her S1 is just a one target, but it doesn't work on a counter attack, so it's kind of, you're missing half the point there. Um, so yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff I would put on her. Uh, the only other thing I'd, I'd probably put on her would be like a, um, what's that? Uh, Draco plate probably just for more crit damage uh, But yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what to do with her um, it, This is pretty nice though because she steals basically she's not going to be like a main damage dealer in any of your comps So giving everyone else attack percentage is pretty good uh, And then a 20% uh, attack 20% uh, CR boost combined with her 40% uh, that she gets every so often when her fighting spirit maxes out. It's pretty good. I think um, Yeah, all in all she's pretty interesting uh, just the ability to take a bunch of turns and, and cleanse and, and, and hit people really hard. My Arbiter, not like the not like the craziest Arbiter, uh, barely hitting 4k, um, very low crit chance, which always bothers me, but uh, not even 240 speed, so that's kind of, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then obviously uh, Cesarato, who basically solos certain teams. Um, I actually really enjoy, like his build. He's got like such a good balance of health and defense and, and attack and everything. The attack's a little low. People kind of like him around 3,000 attack, which I I prefer to with like 250 crit damage. Uh, but it would be sacrificing way too much, too many defensive stats, which I really don't want to do. Uh, something here has oh, this has two speed on, which I should probably change. Um, what can I change this to? Crit damage. So that gets me four. Uh, so four crit damage. Uh, on top of this is 237, which is not bad. Um, but yeah. So this, I mean, obviously he's missing a lot of 90 gear. So I mean. I could 90 this and I could 90 this. Yeah, I could probably 90 this. It's pretty good. Um, four crit damage plus the four from here uh, is what? Eight. So we're at 241 plus this is 246. And I'd be short four crit damage. I gotta, you know, I'll find crit damage somewhere. Uh, maybe probably after his health gets boosted from like this, um, from this health stat, whatever. I could probably drop this 5% or maybe this 500. I think 5% is probably better. Probably drop this 5% and then give him crit damage here. And then there you go. He's, he's at 250 um, without breaking a sweat. And then uh, from there, hopefully like this refine gets his attack up and uh, maybe I can get, I can modify this to attack percentage if I have one. No, I don't. Uh, but yeah, maybe I can, maybe, maybe I can hit that 300, that 3k uh, mark. Oh, that's about it. That's basically everyone I used, I think. Um, Little Queen Charlotte might be here for next Guild War. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that, that's that. I already kind of went on quite a bit. As you can see, my, my regular Charlotte uh, <laughs> needs some love. Uh, but I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, good luck to your guys' Guild War, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, I'm not sure if I will make the next Guild War for Wednesday, uh, if I'll make a video for that. Depends. I'll look at like the comps and see what I what I want to use for them, and if they're just kind of the same thing as as usual, like just boring comps, um, then I probably won't. But this time, it's just been a while since I last made one of these videos, and I've I've started incorporating a few new units um, here and there, so that's kind of there. Uh, so yeah, like I said, that's uh, that'll be it for today.